Bud available on Google Cloud. Bud Financial has announced it is now available in the Google Cloud Partner Directory. Fintech firms propose joint standards for open finance in LATAM. Columbia Fintech Association, Fintech MXICO, Belvo, and other associations have partnered to propose joint standards for open finance in LATAM. BKN301 brings digital payments on taxis in Georgia. Fintech BKN301 has signed an agreement with the municipality of Tbilisi, Georgia to enable digital payments for taxi fares. Anachur joins NAB's reward program for business account holders. The National Australia Bank has welcomed Anachur, an Australia-based e-signature solution provider, in its rewards program for NAB business transaction account holders. Ant Group makes four mobile wallets available in Thailand. Alipay Plus S operator Ant Group has announced that four mobile wallets will be accepted in Thailand in order to improve the overall tourist experience. SCC Bank to ask for ID for non-clients 2000 IRN exchange. India-based ACC Bank has announced its decision to require non-bank customers for ID proof in order for them to exchange IRN 2000 banknotes. Russia abandons its plans to launch a national crypto exchange. The government of Russia has given up on its plans to create a national cryptocurrency exchange and will direct its focus elsewhere. Manuva executes cross-border settlement using Australian dollar CBDC. On Friday, the Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA, in collaboration with the Digital Finance Cooperative Research Centre, DFCRC, held an invitation-only conference in Sydney for participants in the Australian Central Bank Digital Currency, CBDC, pilot project. Card fraud in Europe declines significantly. The European Central Bank, ECB, has today published its card fraud report, which is based on information provided by 20 card payment scheme operators. Yaya Finance signs with BUD for open banking data. Jaja Finance, Jaja, the digital lender, has signed a partnership deal with BUD Financial Limited. BUD the open banking and data intelligence leader, to become its open banking partner. As part of the deal Bud will support Jaja with its affordability assessments within the credit card application process. Joint venture to develop integrated payment platform for Africa. Multi-choice group, Rapid and General Catalyst today announced a joint venture aimed at developing an integrated payment platform for Africa. The joint venture will operate under a new company, called Moment. Ebery to extend reach in Brazil. Ebery, a leading global fintech specializing in international payments, FX solutions and business lending, announces plans to strengthen its proposition in Brazil and Latin America. Google Ventures backs carbon removals market making platform CUR8. Google Ventures has led a 5.3 million pre-seed funding round for CUR8, a market-making platform for carbon removals. One ID to provide employee screening for Avens. One ID, the UK-based digital identity company, has today announced it has teamed up with HR tech and fintech firm, Avens, to enable frictionless employee screening and onboarding using identity technology. AAZZUR augments its open banking offering with Salt Edge. Germany based embedded finance integrator AAZZUR has partnered with Salt Edge to enrich its open banking offers and accelerate go to market for its clients. Silk partners Theta Ray AI to automate AML monitoring and customer screening. France-based payment platform Silk has partnered with SaaS AML transaction monitoring and screening solution Theta Ray AI to improve its onboarding process.
DCMA pilots a point-to-point -point implementation of Unicoin. The Digital Currency Monetary Authority has announced a pilot for a point-to-point -point implementation of Unicoin in Latin America and Africa. Wise Platform secures first Japanese client, GMO Azora NetBank. Wise Platform, Wise's infrastructure offering for banks and non-banks alike, has announced its first partnership in Japan with GMO Azora NetBank, Limited, bringing fast, low-cost international payments to more than 80,000 corporate customers. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.